بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله Hi everyone um, This is lecture one uh, of the course web development and in this lecture we are going to focus on uh, HTML5 um, the new features um, that have been introduced in uh, this version of HTML. Um, the second part of this lecture will be on uh, will be about CSS2 um, cascading style sheet, uh, the language that is used for uh, styling HTML documents. The new features uh, introduced in HTML5, there are some new features, we are going to uh, focus on them, but uh, let's see how um, or what is HTML5 is. It's a standard used for structuring and presenting the content on www what you can see in um, web pages uh, written by HTML HTML5 is the latest standard of HTML language uh, HTML stands for hypertext markup language and uh, this is all used um, to present the way how uh, the content um, uh, is presented in web pages. In HTML5, there are some new semantic elements, new tags, such as header, footer, and section. These are just examples. There are more examples, more elements, new elements in HTML5. Uh, this means uh, these new elements uh, were not exist uh, in the old versions of HTML. Forms 2.0 Uh, it has improvement to HTML web forms. The web form where you uh, enter data um, into web pages, like a username, password, or you enter your name, email address, etc., and click submit. These are web forms. Um, in HTML5, there are some improvements to these web forms and a new attributes have been introduced for input tag as you are aware of uh, input tag we got some types for input tag uh, with um, HTML5 there are some or some new attributes um, also, these attributes were not exist uh, in the old versions of HTML. Persistent local storage. This is uh, exists to achieve without resorting to third-party uh, plugins. Uh, also, there is a way to save some data. Um, uh, in the user's um, machine, the user's PC, um, no need to send everything to the uh, server. There is a way also to save some data entered by the user uh, temporarily uh, in the user's machine. Web socket. It's the next generation bi-directional 
communication technology for web application. Uh, this is used by web applications, uh, web-based applications to uh, exchange data, send data, receive data um, from server to the from the browser to the server and from the server to the user's browser. Um, the web uh, socket is um, or represent a persistent connection between client and the server. It provides bi-directional or full duplex communication channel that operate over HTTP protocol through single TCP IP socket connection the web socket protocol facilitates message passing between client and the server and here is an example of so here we got the client and the server um, messages are um, sent between these two machines in bi-directional um, ways the messages comes from the client browser to the server and back again from the server to the client through the HTTP protocol and also through the WebSocket protocol And also here, another diagram shows the same thing. An example of web socket from client to server and um, from server back to the client uh, over the time. Another feature is server sent events. Um, HTML5 introduces events which flow from web server to the web browser and they are called sent, uh, server sent events SSE uh, this happens when the server um, push technology enabling client to receive automatic updates from the server via also the same HTTP connection and this describes how servers can initiate data transmission toward the clients once uh, an initial client connection has been established for example when a client uh, computer user subscribes to a stream from a server and the server will send messages uh, called event stream to the client until the server or the client closes the stream it's up to the server to decide um, when and what to send the client for instance as soon the data changes and this uh, the better example is uh, for example uh, chat web based chat we can uh, see a, a good example in web chat um, to describe uh, server sent events as well as web socket Um, sorry, let's go back and see an example um, of diagram that shows the server sent events. Here we got a client and on the other hand we got server. The client subscribed to events. The server will process the request and send the event to the client. 
the client handle the event and when the handle time out then um, the server will close the connection and finish um, the client will finish processing the events sent by the server another diagram uh, this is enough to do, to illustrate how um, server sent events work Uh, regarding HTML5 uh, syntax, it comes with lots of flexibility and would support the following. So HTML support uppercase tag names, then A capital B capital, it can be part of the um, um, it will be supported by the um, uh, by this version latest version of html codes are optional for attributes these are the codes when you enclose the value of attributes uh, between the codes now it's optional you can use them you can ignore them attribute values are optional you can set the value for an attribute or you can leave it blank empty also some closing uh, empty elements are optional for example when you start uh, the element P for paragraph and write some text you can leave um, you can you can you, you are um, you have the option to close the tag closing the tag or you can leave it you can remove the closing tag you can ignore it it's up to you as um, a web programmer you can have the closing tag or leave it uh, doc type HTML5 authors would use symbol syntax to specify the doc type as follows the this will um, this will uh, specify the type of HTML document. Here we use doc type space HTML, and uh, this syntax is case sensitive. So you have to write it as it is: uh, capital capital small small. Character encoding, HTML5 uh, authors can use symbol syntax to specify character encoding. This is good to support Ar uh, Arabic language. Uh, if you have any problem in your web pages, you have to specify this uh, by using the meta tag, uh, the attribute uh, char set equals utf-8 this is a universal standard uh, this is used to support all languages uh, including uh, Arabic the syntax is also case sensitive make sure that to maintain the same um, letter cases capital and small letters do the same also another tag script the script tag 
uh, in HTML5 it removes um, information required and you can simply f following the syntax uh, start with script tag uh, and attribute source src equals between quotes you can have the the script file and this represent an external file used for the script and then um, this is all opening tag and here is the closing tag for uh, script element you will see this in the next um, few lectures you are going to use it many times uh, I mean the script element the script tag also in the link tag uh, you were writing link as follows um, this is the ordinary way to use the link we use re uh, rel attribute style sheet then another attribute type uh, text slash CSS and another attribute href to specify the file name of the CSS file uh, in HTML5 extra information um, removed and you can uh, only use rel and href so this will be removed the type will be removed as there will be no need to uh, keep it uh, it will not add any value to 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 the web page A new element uh, that have been introduced in HTML5, uh, one of these uh, is Canvas. Canvas used to draw two-dimensional drawing surface that can program with JavaScript. Also, you will uh, you will do this in some of the lectures. Uh, you can create a space for drawing an image or graphics or text in uh, some area uh, in the web page. Here is an example. Here, these are examples of um, um, the output of Canvas, of using Canvas. Here, try it yourself. Click Run, and this is the result. You can increase, for, for example, 300 by 200 and click Run you will see the result uh, audio and video you can embed you can insert audio and video on your web pages without resorting to third party plugins no need to use any other code or um, third-party plugins to introduce to insert your video or audio in your web pages. You can use here. We'll see an example, an example of uh, embedding um, video in our web page. Let's try it here. And this is the new element, video, 
with the attributes width, height. Um, we use also source to indicate the file name of the video clip and the type as well. A message to the user and so on. Um, geo location another feature now visitor can choose to share their physical location with your web application you can have your code to uh, acquire the graphical uh, location of the visitors of your web pages Here is an example. Try it. It will show your geographical location on the map. And this is also a new feature um, introduced in HTML5. Macro data. This will let you to create your own vocabularies beyond HTML5 and extend your web uh, pages with custom semantic. You can introduce uh, new uh, elements and add some uh, vocabularies to your HTML5 um, uh, pages. drag and drop drag and drop the items from one location to another location on the same web page let's see an example here we got two images you can uh, drop and you can drag it and drop it somewhere else. You can drag the second to the first um, space. These are also introduced in the latest version of HTML. Um, section. These are the new tags or new elements introduced in HTML5. Section, this tag represent a generic document or application section. It can be used together with uh, H1 to H6 elements to indicate the document structure. Let's see an example of section element. Here, as you can see, uh, we got H1 and then followed by section um, this is a new element this is uh, opening tag the closing tag here this is one section used and this is the second uh, section used in this web page as you can see here inside the section you can have another element like h2 or paragraph P and this is the result of displaying the section element in the web browser this is the first section and this is the second uh, section article another element introduced in HTML5 this tag represent an independent piece of content of a document or within a document such as blog entry or newspaper article let's use uh, or let's see an example here we got article tag um, we got here three examples 
article opening tag closing tag inside also we can use um, another elements like h2 p this is the first article the second article the third article here this is the first article displayed in the web page in the web browser this is the second and this is the third Uh, aside another, uh, another new element in HTML5 it's represent piece of content that is only slightly related to the rest of the page you got some um, content and not exactly related to the web page you can use this element Here is an example, try it yourself and as you can see here we use a side element, um, it looks similar but uh, the way how to use them or to differentiate between them within uh, one um, web page in your website. You can see the difference you, uh, for different purposes. You can use a side, a header, a section, etc. Yeah, and this is header. Represent the header of the section. Uh, we got header and footer. Here, footer represent the footer of the section and can contain information about the author which comes at the bottom of the page the header comes at the top of the page also you can include copyright information the owner or the creator name or the year etc Let's see the example of header. Here we got article, the one we used uh, in the previous slide. Inside the article we got header. Inside the header we got H1, uh, a heading here, this one, a heading. Then two paragraphs. Then close the header. So this is the header uh, displayed as uh, a header or the, the output of the header um, element yeah, of this little code here. The footer. Uh, also we got footer element and inside uh, we can specify the author and also um, a link to the email of the author as you can see here and uh, mostly it comes at the bottom of every page it can be repeated in all pages to uh, display some um, uh, information to the visitors of our website. Nav, another element in HTML5, it represents section of documents intended for navigation. Um, this is intended for to tell the user where to go from here uh, to display some links and the user can navigate from uh, this um, uh, for example web page or from the main page to uh, all other pages in our website here is an example of the nav nav tag 
here as you can see here we start nav we close the nav inside we got links as you can see here we got links and the user can click on these links uh, it will be directed to the target pages um, um, either in the same website or to external web pages dialog this tag can be used to mark up a conversation and let's have an example of dialog here um, um, the dialog start here dialog open this is an open dialog um, window and this is the result it will appear as a shape in the web page uh, figure this tag can be used to associate a caption or a title uh, together with this uh, with some embedded content such as graphic or video this is used for displaying um, graphics and associate some titles or caption here we got figure tag inside we specify the image and the image file name uh, alt text the some style and then another caption or another element called uh, fig caption figure caption uh, add some text these text will be displayed just um, down or beneath the the graphics file and then close the figure tag and this is the result the image will be displayed followed by uh, the caption text uh, this will be associated to the graphics um, yes briefly to conclude the new elements or tags introduced in HTML5 um, starting from here header at the top of the page nav used for navigation article to have articles uh, one or more articles in the same web page sections to have a section or more inside article or even outside aside to have some um, content not exactly related to the main content of the web page figure to um, display graphics with its associated uh, caption or text footer and this comes um, mainly at the bottom of every page and remember all of these comes inside the body section inside the body section uh, here is an example of uh, HTML5 document uh, start with doc type HTML then start with HTML tag and close it every time you start with the tag close it then inside we got the head section inside the head section we got meta tag specifying the unicode to support uh, languages also title tag inside this is the title of the current web page then start the body tag 
and close the body tag inside the body we got header header element this is a new in HTML5 inside the header we got for example h1 uh, document and close it uh, paragraph and you don't have to close it we got footer element inside the footer element we got uh, another paragraph and here this paragraph will be displayed as you can see here the h1 is a heading title and you can use for titles h1 up to h6 um, html5 document with more new tags examples um, let's see the other tags used here we used header to display some information at the top of the page then start the navigation navigation section and here inside this navigation section we got a list of some links displayed to the user then another a new element article inside the article we got sections here we got two sections uh, this is followed by a side element again a side element has some um, content not exactly related to the main content of the web page then we start a figure to display a paragraph uh, to display an image uh, this is the image file name na uh, nature.jpg uh, with the alt text alternative text and the width 300 pixels by 200 pixels then we close the figure uh, element this is followed by a paragraph inside this paragraph we got some links by using some uh, images uh, as hyperlinks at the end we got footer and we put some information like uh, the author of the web page and the copyright information inside this section HTML5 events when a user visit your website uh, they do things like uh, click use the mouse click on text or on images or on links or they can hover over things you can move they can move the mouse over some um, graphics some images over some uh, text or links in your web pages these are examples of what javascript calls events you will see list of events that can be used um, to direct the user um, movement of the cursor of the mouse cursor and relate that or join that link that to some um, events we can write our event handlers by using javascript or vb script visual basic script 
and you can specify these event handlers as the value of event tag attribute. So there is an event tag attribute. We can uh, work around this and specify what we would like to use for a specific event. HTML5 specification defines various event attributes. Here in the next slide, we will uh, have a list of uh, various event attributes which can be used to trigger any JavaScript or Visual Basic script code given as value. So we will get some um, attributes, some values for these attributes. When there is any event occurs, happens for any HTML5 elements. Here, for example, we got a list of attributes, their value and little description what to do. For example, on click, this is very popular. What do we mean by on click? When the user use the left mouse uh, click. Click by the mouse once. Then we can specify a script to work when the user click on some items in our web pages and this this is triggered or this works when after a mouse button is clicked after the user click on a mouse on some items in uh, the web page the second attribute on double click we are not going to uh, talk more about this because it shows only the uh, what type of value can be added to this attribute we can add some script but let's go uh, on on double click when the user click or double click the mouse which button? The left button of the mouse. On key down. When a key is pressed. When the user pressed a key. Um, on key press. When a key is pressed and released. On key up, when a key is released. On mouse down, when the mouse button is pressed, but not released. On mouse move, when the mouse pointer, pointer moves. On mouse over, when the mouse pointer moves over an element like text or image uh, on mouse up when a mouse button is released on play when media data is going to start playing on playing when media data has uh, started playing on submit when a form a web form is submitted here we got some examples these are examples of attribute more attribute can be found here the, this is for window event 
and this is for the form when you enter a form and submit some data uh, through a web form this is for keyboard like on key down on key press on key up uh, this for the mouse drag also uh, this is related to the mouse clipboard events on copy on cut on paste media for audio and video and some other attributes on toggle a huge list of uh, attributes used for events you can um, uh, you can use in your website Um, here an example of HTML for uh, web form. Um, a, a web form starts with the tag form and it has some attributes like action, method. Uh, here we got some labels, first name, and we start input field uh, this input field has a type text and uh, it has an ID called F name means first name another label or text uh, last name and another field input field also uh, it's a text and the ID here L name means last name and another uh, label another label email and we got another input also text so all of these input uh, fields um, are from the type of text another um, another label gender we got an input type radio here these are text the first three fields um, email last name and first name then we got radio button uh, name gender and the value is mail then the, uh, the text displayed mail and another uh, radio button uh, the same name remember with radio button we got the same name for both uh, values for both uh, input types and the value here female and the text displayed is female these are the radio buttons male and female and these uh, used this input types used and displayed as radio buttons uh, as we specify uh, the attributes inside them the most common um, input type is submit this is used to submit the data either to the server or to be displayed or to be uh, working on uh, in the web browser here and the value sent this will be displayed as a text for the button another input type is reset you can this to start over again you can use this button reset and this is the uh, normal 
uh, example of HTML for web form. In HTML5, there are more input elements. We got date time, including year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and also fractions of the second, means less than a second. Also, we got date, time, local. The same thing, but with no time zone information. It will get your um, local time uh, as uh, the location where you are working from. Date, this will include year, month, day, month, uh, year and month, week, year and week number, time, it will include hour, minute, seconds, fraction, seconds, number, it will only accept numerical value. If you select the input type number, it will uh, give you um, a numerical keyboard in mobile phones for example you can select from it will not allow you to enter any text ring used for input fields that should contain a value from a ring of numbers for example you can specify the number uh, between uh, five dash 20. If the user is trying to enter 4, it will not be accepted. If the user is trying to enter more than 20, for example 21, it will not be accepted. It will enter numbers bet uh, between this ring, between 5 uh, to 20. Email. It will accept only email value. This is used for input field that should contain an email address. If you try to submit a simple text, any, any text, um, it forces to enter only email address in email, for example, email at example.com format. Uh, it will recognize if the data entered in this field is not an email, not similar to email address. It will not notify the user uh, to, to enter a valid email address. Another input, URL. Uh, this accepts only URL values. This type is used to input fields that should contain a URL address, a website ad address. If you try to submit a simple text, it will force you to enter only um, an, uh, any form of a website address. Like, um, for example, http uh, cnn.com. If you are trying to enter CNN only, it will uh, reject the user entry and it will ask the user to enter a valid URL. That, about, uh, that was about the HTML5, uh, new features, new elements. Um, a new uh, attribute. The second part of this lecture is about CSS, the second version, cascading, style sheet, um, version number two. What is CSS? 
CSS is a style sheet language that describes the presentation of HTML documents. The HTML document or the HTML language define the structure of the web page. Now here CSS uh, is defining the style or the how uh, the content in HTML document is presented in the web browser. It describes how HTML uh, elements are to be displayed on the screen or on paper or in any other media. It will save your work. It can control the layout of multiple web pages all at once. If you have a uh, hundred web pages in your website or 1000 web pages, you can control them by modifying only one document of CSS. The whole website will look different by controlling the style of your website uh, uh, by mod uh, the modifying only one CSS uh, file or one CSS page. Uh, we got some inline style, uh, internal uh, style or internal style sheet, and also we got some external uh, style sheet that are stored in external CSS file. The uh, the normal syntax of CSS. It consists of a selector and declaration block. For example, if you are using H1 for headings in your web pages, we call this a selector. In CSS, we call it a selector. And the rest followed by the declaration. How do we we will define the uh, style for H1? Inside the declaration, we got some properties like color. This is a property, and every property has a value. Here, another property called font size. It has 12 pixel. The color is blue. This is the way how to define every element in HTML pages uh, by using CSS. So the selector is or to point to the HTML document, sorry, element that you want to style. If you would like to um, to define the style for paragraph, the selector will be P, then open brackets. In between, you can have property colon the value, then separated by semicolon, have another property column, and then followed by the value for that property. Also, you can have them uh, um, every pro property and associated value in one line. Then enter, um, followed by the second property 
and its value in the second line and don't uh, don't forget to have semicolon to at the end of every property the declaration block contains one or more declaration separated by semicolon here this one semicolon each declaration, uh, declaration includes CSS property name and its value separated by a colon a CSS declaration always ends with a semicolon and declaration blocks are surrounded by curly braces curly braces these are these types of brackets called curly braces CSS selectors these are used to find or to select HTML uh, elements based on their elements name or ID or class or attribute and many more let's, the, uh, let's see the types of these selectors the first one is the element selector the element selector select elements based on the element name or the tag name you can select all P element on a page like this in case all uh, P elements will be centered aligned with red text color here we got P then start curly braces then we got the first uh, property text align center color red then close the de declaration this will be applied uh, on all p elements for example here this is one um, paragraph this is second and this is third this will be uh, this will be applied on all of these because this is a general uh, p element that will be applied in all occurrences of the p element in the web page the second type of selector is called the ID selector the ID selector uses the ID attribute of an HTML element to select specific element the ID of an element should be unique within a web page so the ID selector is used to select one unique element throughout the web page to select an element with a specific ID write the hash sign or the hash character followed by the ID of the element we'll see an example of this the style rule below will be applied on the HTML element with the ID para1. This is our uh, CSS style. We use hash character and specify, specify the ID name of the element para1 so let's go to the uh, HTML code here we got p paragraph 
and we got id attribute and this is the value para1 but the second paragraph has no id only just focus on this one the first one the id para1 so um, here our css style will be applied on this paragraph i mean this line only because it has the id the same id we use in css style so all of these style will be applied on this uh, line or this paragraph this is the way how to select only one um, uh, one element based on the ID its ID the third selector is called class selector this is similar to uh, ID but with some uh, differences the class selector selects element with a specific class attribute in the previous type we got ID attribute here class attribute the select element with a specific class write the period character the period character followed by the name of the class here an example here dot center dot means in CSS that the following is a class name and the class name is called center and it has some style like text align center color red and see the HTML code we got h1 has a class center p paragraph has also another class called center so these this style will be applied on this one and also this one because both h1 and p paragraph has uh, the same class name center and center so this is the way how to define uh, more than um, one element within a document to specify a specific class with a class uh, specific class uh, of every element this can be repeated no matter is the element name but with ID selector you have to be more specific um, you can use the hash sign to define the property or the, the style or the rule of CSS and in the HTML code you have to define only one element within the web page um, that's all for uh, this lecture see you in the next lecture thank you